All right, ladies and gents, it is the Macho Man Robot Savage right here. Macho Nerd Mode. And today, I was asked a question. I was asked a question. The homie, Iasonas, the big noob, asks, Hey, Macho Nerd, how do I beat the trials easier with the A, the Strikers? My Strikers are level 11. And he says that he's new. You don't got any end game pieces? All right, I'm gonna build you. I'm gonna actually show you how to build this right here, right now. No end game pieces involved, all right? No end game pieces involved. Let me do so. Okay. First, we're gonna start off with, as I always say, you want your Valamir's visions, right? You want your Valamir's stuff. Okay, so we start out with Valamir's Visions. I'm building this from scratch, okay? We leave these two cells blank first. We're gonna go back to them. Iceborne Omnicell, always. You're new, you got nothing else. Okay, no problem. Scarn's Defiance will be your Omnicell. You're gonna put a Catalyst here, right? Now remember, you've got another Lantern Cell here, so you're gonna put the second Catalyst. Why? I'm gonna explain the principle right now. Any trial build, any trial build always has plus six catalyst. If you take my newbie build for the strikers, all right, you put in plus six catalyst, you will end up doing roughly the same thing. All right, any newbie build, all right, you got your plus six catalyst, put it in there. Okay, now, volcanic helm from the Charog. Very standard. Sturdy cell. Boreal resolve with a parasitic cell. Standard again. Now what are you gonna do here? Okay, you don't want any, you don't want any, not even a single, okay? Legendary piece, no problem. Put in your time weave gauntlets. It's possible to get these with no you don't have to do any legendary escalation stuff to get these, okay? Time weave gauntlets, no problem. Adrenaline cell, okay? Now you got your plus six adrenaline, plus six catalyst, plus six sturdy. You've got some rage and you got some parasitic. Now down here, you got another adrenaline cell, tenacious cell, boreal march. Okay, your whole build overall is set. But, you got one more power cell slot. Now this one, I always put in rage. Why? Because guess what? This is a no dodge build. You're going to be taking hits, but that's okay. It's for trials. All right. Now, what does this build have overall? It's going to seem like a mishmash, but it's going to work just fine. And I'm going to show you exactly how that happens. Okay. What you've got overall, six adrenaline, six catalyst. Catalyst is the key. Six rage. All right. Six sturdy to prevent any stagger. 3 A the Hunter, 3 Overpower, 3 Parasitic, 3 Tenacious. In terms of your tonics, you always want your A the Drive tonic. Okay, A the Drive will work well for you. Now, whatever level your strikers are doesn't matter. Why? Because. And I'll demonstrate this principle because many people don't seem to understand. If you go into trials, you have a normalized weapon. This means your weapon power and armor power are always going to be the same no matter what. All right? Even if I were to take... Okay, what I'm going to show you right now is even if I were to change it over... Okay, let me change it over right now. Let me change my weapon to a, let's say, a uh, level 20 chain blades. Okay? If I were to look at trials, still the same. Weapon power, 550. Okay, your armor power can change based because my this thing has slightly different gear. But you'll notice that my level is irrelevant. This, the only thing that changes with this is gear. The only way to increase this is by using, alright? Is by using like, if I were to just, for example, switch to, to lightning gear. I don't want to ruin this one, so let me just alter this one slightly. Let's put... Uh, okay, let's put a spear on level 4 spear with a lightning item All right Lightning weapon. Ooh, sorry about that If I do so the power goes to 646 Okay, do you see how that works if you put on 
a matching element, you will have a higher power level. But if you don't put on a matching element, you go down to 550, irrespective of level. My war pike was only level 4. Okay, but the remember the level 20 chain blades were at 550. Do you understand the principle now? Your when you go into trials, your level does not matter. Only what type of gear you're using and what type of build you're using. Then you then the next question that you might ask me is why are you using Volumirs then? Shouldn't you be using electric? Well, do you want to be changing your build every single time this thing, or do you want me to just show you that you can just smash it with one build? You want me to show you that you can smash it one build so you don't have to go changing it every week, right? For normal trials, you do not need to change your build, nor do you need to match the element. You will always be okay. Why? Because normal trials are easy. They're easy as fuck, so long as you know your weapon. Alright? I'm gonna demonstrate this right now. Now, please remember one last thing. Your whole fucking build should be power surge. Please, dear God, don't be asking me how to do trials without power surging your entire gear. That's 5A the hearts. Alright, follow this build exactly. 5A the hearts. You can do this. Okay, please at least put in the time and effort into at least power surging your gear before you go into trials. If you do not do that, I cannot help you. Alright, I've had a couple of people actually ask me, But Macho Man, can't you make an easy build without the power surge? The bad build? No. 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 You will die. You will not have the perks. You will not have the build right. You will die. Please, power surge your shit. And have your actual cells ready. Okay, that's the bare minimum you need to do for freaking trials. This is supposed to be difficult content. It's easy for me, and I can make it easy for you. But you've got to follow my build exactly. All right, let's 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 see this now. Now I'm going to demonstrate exactly how this is done. Now you know that I haven't changed my build, nothing. That's why the loading screen is there. Because you can see that nothing has been altered. I'm going to show you how to kick ass with strikers in the normal trials. All right. After this, I don't want to hear any any whining, no questions, okay? Because I've just shown you the method, all right? And Iona, I, I so nice. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I hope this helps you, and I hope that this uh, demonstrates to you the proper way to use your strikers in trials, okay? Now, if you get knocked down, it doesn't matter. You know, same principle as I did with the hammer. Okay, absolutely the same principle. Once this little boy is all tired out, good. Unleash your fist of fury. It's so easy to do so. Alright. Just keep beating him and using your combos. If you don't know how to use the strikers in the first place, you probably shouldn't be asking me how to use them in trials. But um, if you don't know how to use strikers in the first place, all right, I recommend watching my striker tutorial so that you understand better about how to properly use your strikers and how to actually uh, utilize them well in combat. All right. You should at least know the basic combinations and, and what they do things like that that's very important because if you don't at least know these basics all right you're gonna have a bad time the principle behind this is that it's a very very simple um, straightforward beat down style As you can see, all I'm literally doing is just beating the creature down. Okay, there's no secrets here, no special legendary jutsu. Okay, the only thing that's gonna happen is that when you run out of tonics, you just take some more. Okay, I could actually demonstrate that you can do it without tonics, but again, if you if you just want it with tonics, it's very fast to do so. Okay, just take your tonics mid-fight. I mean, you have sturdy for a reason. It's gonna keep you sturdy. I'm not even using my Omnicell here because there's no need for me to do so. At least with Skarn, I'm always uh, cautious of any anything that's too risky, like throwing out my Iceborne uh, Omnicell ability too early. Okay, it might be a little difficult to do because um, if it starts a spin attack, you might die. 
because you have, remember, you have no stagger immunity. Uh, sorry, you have got full stagger immunity during your um, Iceborne Omnicell ability activation. Alright. Okay, there you go. Boom. Alright, so this is how you can beat the trials easily with strikers. Okay, if, you, if you're utilizing a proper easy build, and you'll notice that the build is roughly exactly the same as what I put out yesterday for the hammer. I think you guys can grasp the idea behind it. Full sturdy, especially with the strikers and the um, hammer. Full sturdy, catalyst is the key. Take your potions, you'll get it done in about 2 minutes 48 seconds. Because you're continuously attacking, so there's nothing to stop you. Damage may stop you, but against any behemoth, not just the Skarn, you will usually have no trouble just attacking continuously. So I hope that this uh, little video helps you out. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, and uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, you want to keep the channel running, you want to keep the content running, join as a channel member, or drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. If you do that, Macho Man can keep producing content forever. Thank you very much. Keep it going. And I bet you thought I forgot to talk about October's top supporters. Bravo7910, Crampy D, Johnny Nara, FNX Killer43, Zabi Uzumaki, Alien Frost 80, Cats, to my lovely girl, Yuki no Kami, J Money 13, Ravik, Starbuzz, Rogue Assassin, and Ashalis Guardsy. Thank you so much for all the love you've shown me. Alright? I appreciate y'all. See you all in the next one.